Good morning, good afternoon. Whoever gets to see this, my name is Tim Cornegay. I am the director of Live Free California, but I'm also one of the founders of the Black and Asian Solidarity Group. Now, the reason we initiated this group immediately after COVID, there were disturbing videos being circulated. I saw a video that was very disturbing. Um, really, the the it's an Asian guy. Is you know he, he was uh, in a, a mask and. Uh, he was advocating to like protect you know his community right amid the whole uh, xenophobia and then the, you know um, Asian hate crimes that happened. Um, so I saw I saw in a way that you know if that were to happen right it's going to create more like chaos and more like divisions among you know the black and the API community. Billy's Asian. It was like bro, we really need to do something because you're I'm black, you Asian. Uh, we need to start communicating and pulling other folks into the group to like share the affinity we have for each other because we aren't enemies. So, so I was like, you know what? How can we come together and send out a positive message between the black and API communities? And the media is creating a narrative that's making everybody think blacks are just attacking Asians or Asians are attacking blacks, whatever's going on. And that's not what's happening. So Billy and I, we grabbed Diane and um, we're like, hey, what can we do? Like to, you know, to um, bring our community together, right? And uh, and you know, as a positive action, it's like you know, this it's a call need to act. You know, we have to do something. So, what can we do? I feel very strongly that we need to counteract the divisive narrative that we perpetuate, but that is also perpetuated by mainstream media and most of the power brokers in this country. And so, we need to find ways to re-educate ourselves, to build relationship, to to build trust and to pursue conciliation between our communities. And when I say communities, I say that recognizing that we are not a monolith. Asians and Pacific Islanders are not a monolith. And our black community um, is not a monolith. So we also have to acknowledge and unpack the intricacies and the beauty and the nuances of our different cultural groups. So Billy and I grabbed Diane, pulled her in, started our group, and this is the first project today the mural project we've managed to get about 20 kids who are excited about painting uh, a solidarity mural they're black they're asian but the most important thing is they're young so we wanted to be able to import some of this positivity some of this solidarity into the youth so they can spread it because everybody knows the youth is tomorrow I really believe our future is um, our 12-year-olds and our 14-year-olds and those young minds who are um, still forming and still pursuing truth not only for themselves but for their community at large. I too spent some time as a teenager, probably about many of your ages, and incarcerated. I didn't go to prison, but I did do about three years in and out of the juvenile justice system here in LA. Um, and then I got out and had a baby. So I've been doing a lot of social justice work around, you know, changing uh, the narrative of what formerly incarcerated people look like. So my name is Yanni, and I'm here as a, a, as a parent of Naima um, while we walk through this mural project. Anybody want to add anything up here that's not up there already? What is nonviolent communication? Nonviolent communication. So that's when. Um, Nonviolent is not being combative with one another. My name is Pamela Thompson and I'm here for um, Diane inviting me. If I can deter one youth from going down the path that I went down, that landed me in prison, then that's what I'm here for, to make a change for our generation to come. I used to think that um, I, I felt like I had no power. I feel that my life is very spontaneous. Things happen out of my control. That's why I'm so impulsive. The idea of having structure, having responsibility is something I just recently learned. My name is Nyep Vo, and I'm here as a volunteer. In this particular day, I'm here to um, share my passion for art and share a little bit about my personal story and hopefully encourage them to, uh, yeah, to be better. You're going to use your phones, you're going to document like
whoever's paying. Oh, uh, Marvin Wadlow Jr. I'm a writer, director, producer. I know some of the founders, Diane and Tim, uh, Black API. I'm black, my children are Black API. <laughs> They're Samoan. And so I joined because I want to be part of the solution of our communities, of Asian communities and African American communities and Latino communities and everybody just, you know, getting a better understanding of each other. So if there's one thing you want the kids to, you know, take away from today, what would that be? That they all have a story. You just have to be bold and brave enough to actually tell it. You can tell it by writing. You can tell it by photography. You can tell it by filmmaking. You can tell it by writing music. There's many, many ways to tell your stories. Most of your artists that y'all love, the Kendrick Lamars, they're poets. They're social justice poets. And they just put a beat to it. These are my 16 bars. Hi, my name is David, and um, I live um, down the street. I grew up around this area. And where is the area? Oh, this is the Crenshaw Lemert Park area. And I'm down here to help out on the mural that people are putting up. My name is Billy. Uh, we're finally painting today, so so excited. Uh, we have to change the location. So we're at uh, ADAP uh, Youth and Family Program Center. And it's so excited to see you know, the youth paint. Get to know someone you don't know today, you know? Um, and, you know, value this time because it's our last paint session. Where are the book? If you're a youth. <laughs> and a lot of Chicanos really take pride in the fact that they were revolutionaries and that they were activists. All right, next. Ooh, this one. I guess we're not going to mix. By any means necessary. So the backstory to this, this is about Muhammad Ali. And in the, uh, in the early 70s, he was at the height of his career. He went about his business beating every white boxer that they had. America that we live in did not like him that much because he was very aggressive, very arrogant and sure of himself. So he found himself drafted. My name is Jovi. I'm here to, you know, help the kids out with the, the mural. It's looking great so far. We're moving really fast and everyone's having fun and I'm having a ton of fun. My name is Dominique Davis and I'm the program coordinator with the Black and Asian Solidarity Mural Project. Well, today we broke off into two groups, um, two different painting groups and we're um, starting the outline, finishing up and um, coming up with our final details for our mural. The unveiling will be October 9th this year, 2021. Today. Thank you so much for coming. Today we celebrate what rhymes with celebrate. Shout it out. Elevate. Levitate. Appreciate. Communicate. Appreciate. Much love. Much love. Um, during the past few months, I made a lot of friends and I learned a lot. At first, I felt very nervous and I feel very nervous right now. <laughs> <laughs> This mural has made us feel all like one unit. We shared our stories, um, we got to listen to other people's stories. Just being biracial and coming from a black and Japanese descent, um, I've seen a lot of hatred and 
division and colorism. Being from Jamaica, I never knew there was a race thing until I came to America. I really value being part of the Black and API Solidarity Group because it's allowed me to see people as people again. Just sharing our knowledge on our, on our histories and exchanging ideas has given me, um, just has given me a hope. Different appearance, but a lot in common. Accepting and caring, remembering and honoring. Intrepid people we are, together we rise and stand. Yay, solidarity. <laughs> this location is in the second supervisory district, which is represented by Holly Mitchell. For the city council, this is the eighth district, which is represented by Marquise Harris Dawson. Because of the work that these wonderful youth have done, both decided to present the youth with certificates. So I want to bring up Daniel so he can hand our youth their certificates. A Sky Jenkins. Got it, got it. We also have certificates from Marquis Harris Dawson's office. He couldn't be here to hand them out, but he did come this morning and let us know that he has some things to do, but here goes certificates. We'll pass those out later. But for right now, this energy and this eagerness is about the unveil of our mural project. So let's get ready to walk to the front. Testing one, Black and API solidarity. 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 Power to the people, much love, much unity. Ashe, aloha, and assalamu alaikum.